Hearing the Heartbeat, Battle of Trust Part 4. Where is Eren? <laughs> I'm not leaving you behind, Armin. I see that Eren died so Mikasa could be the protagonist. I'd be okay with that. It's been working so far. Yeah, you have no great options here. Might as well. Yeah, exactly. He's still here. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Not right now. Seems like this is going to be one of those cases of the different plot lines intersecting. They're all going to get to HQ. That was a nice shot. Oh, that was close. I thought he was dead for a second. I'm so on edge, I feel like they're all going to die at any second. Well... Nice. <laughs> cool entrance. They all had to go through different windows? A lot more than the last time. Yeah. It's funny, he sounds like Aaron when they had that conversation. Their design is just so good. They're so creepy. They're all sort of having the same realization. Yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Get saved. <laughs> they all have to go through different windows each time. I'm afraid to believe. Every time they had momentum, they die. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nice. We're finding out Armin's true talents. He's a really good strategist. I like how we can feel the tide shifting. Like, it started with total panic from this group, and then there were just a couple sparks from a few people that led to this moment where they all seem on the same page. You can imagine that in this scenario they might all die. I mean, that seems highly likely, <laughs> given the show so far. But you can also imagine them getting out of this and being stronger than ever before. Like, this is their first true test, and they were on their way to just dismal failure. But they might actually have a huge victory here, and I feel like that will carry them through other things. And I think that's something that they're still struggling with and missing that I think would be really cool and useful to see happen. Like, in the last episode, they're all talking about how what's the point of it all, right? It feels good for them actually to be on the same page. Though I predict that it's not going to go as planned. Something's got to go wrong. There's one. Alright. So far, so good. Oops. Doll face. Get out of there. Sasha better live. I'll be so pissed if she dies. Okay. Get up. Nice. <laughs> that went way better than I expected. He likes her after their little battle, their sparring battle. This was huge that they were able to pull this off. I feel like he has a lot of potential, he's just afraid of it. <laughs> Interesting. Weird compliment. Yeah. There's no way he's joining the military police now. 
Look at them. They're so emboldened, such a big difference in their attitudes. Oh no, you better kill this guy, my boy Thomas. Is that Eren? What the hell? Why is... what? Looks like he was piloting it or something. The show has a lot of explaining to do. It feels really nice to see emotion from Mikasa. This is the first time she's actually broken down. I guess she was holding it all in this whole time. This group better get some recognition for what they did. They better be heroes. Yes, it's very confusing. Right. And also, he's not inside a Titan anymore. Yeah. I'm with you, Armin. But he didn't get his head bitten off. That was the key thing. That explains all that rage and, like, the crazy head stomping. He was getting it all out. Was he awake? Was he aware of that? If so, that explains a lot. Because that Titan was furious. Only Eren would be that enraged to do all that. He has a superhuman anger. So that was another really fun episode. I love how this battle for trust thing is so many episodes. It's a really cool thing to have this art, right? This whole invasion. It's covered so well. So many things happen. I feel like this episode finally gave me like a breath of hope. I'm afraid to trust in it because I know that things will probably get a whole lot worse still, but there is some hope in it and it feels good to finally have some victory. I'm shocked they actually pulled out that plan. I was confident at least one person would die, but no, they, they managed to make it work. And you can imagine that they're all better off for it. Now they've been through it. They've proven to themselves that they can do it. Maybe they have more of a purpose now because they're together and they have a shared experience and they had each other's backs right so they'll remember that i'm really interested in gene's character he's been interesting from the beginning because he's been in conflict with Eren. he initially wanted to go into the military police i predicted that he would end up fighting i thought it would be by choice but he sort of got dragged into it but now i think from this point on it's a choice and my guess is that after being here and going through this and questioning his role in it and you know being a leader and all that stuff i bet i'll stick around which will be pretty cool to see and yeah some of the characters are really taking shape for me i still don't know all their names yet but i know a lot more of them than i thought i would like i know connie and i know Reiner and I know Jean, Sasha, can't forget Sasha, Annie, the lone wolf. I'm pretty sure that gradually I'll get to know all of them. But that's the end of episode eight. I'll see you guys next time for episode nine.